say hello to the most wonderful woman in the world, my mama. in the dressing room in the back and watches the show. But she's here today because she wants to recognize some incredible people who've been helping our, our family through a very challenging time, a very difficult journey. As some of you already know from the show or from People Magazine, my mom was diagnosed with scleroderma last year. And scleroderma um, is an autoimmune disease that often attacks the lungs with, uh, with scar tissue. Now, I wanted to respect my mama's privacy, of course, but my mom, being the person that she is, decided to open up so that she could help other people dealing with this disease and support them. Over the past year, my mom has been cared for by an amazing group of doctors from New Jersey to LA. And Ma, I know you wanted to, uh, you, you have thanked them privately, um, but here's your chance to, to do it publicly. So I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> Please welcome Dr. Sean Studer and Dr. Alan Lapa. <laughs> Say, say, you okay? <laughs> you okay. Okay, I'm gonna get it together, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Stude is my mom's pulmonologist. Dr. Um, Lapa is my mom's cardiologist, and they have been through us through uh, a lot. I know you also wanted to, to thank Dr. Rajan Sagar and Dr. First and everyone at UCLA, but I know you wanted to say something to um, the doctors today. In general, what would you like to say to? Dr. Studer and Dr. Lapa. You know what? I just thank you. Thank you a million times for not giving up on me. Every time a door closed, you kept tugging at it until another one opened. Thank you, Dr. Lapa. You're welcome. I don't think you guys really know how you made me become a better person. It didn't matter that I was locked to the bed. It was the fact that I was becoming a better person. In God's eyes, thank you, God. <laughs> I just, I can't thank you enough. We're so glad we could help you. We are. So glad we could be there for you. It was a privilege to be involved in your care, and, and I got at least as much out of all of our conversations, I think, as, as we gave back and trying to care for you. So we thank you. You stayed strong through the whole thing and telling people about it now. And I think opening, opening up this to the, you know, to the public will help others. So I, I applaud you for, for doing that. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Lapa. Mom, another doctor could not be here today, but he sent you a special message, so take a look at that monitor. Hello, Ms. Owens. Dr. Oz here from New York. I'm so glad to hear that you're doing well. While we were introduced in the midst of some challenging times, it has been my complete pleasure to get to know you and Queen and to continue to receive updates about how well you are doing. I know you're a woman of incredible strength, resilience, grace, and most of all, I know that you are a loved person. Hope to see you back in New Jersey soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Oz. Oh, mama. Well, what, what Dr. Oz said is very true, mom. You are so loved. And I have to make a confession. Because you raised me not to be a liar. That's right. Um, I met so many inspiring people doing this show, and so many mm. incredible stories, but none of them are more inspiring than you. And so the real reason you're here is because I actually want to honor you for all the work that you've done, Mom. Mm.